everybody. If you've been following me over the last few years, you know that I do this video series leading up to September 25th to raise a tax year awareness. And this year I'm going to do the same thing, but I've added a couple of things. So this year I'm going to make three posts a week up to an International Tax Year Awareness Day. And I'm also going to host on September 28th a live Facebook chat. This series of posts will be up on the National Ataxia Foundation and the Ride for John Facebook pages, as well as Twitter and YouTube. So let me take just a minute to tell you about the Facebook Live chat. That'll be on Wednesday, September 28th from 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And during the chat, I want you to tell me in one sentence or less something that you're doing to raise awareness about ataxia. Yeah, that's right. I'm challenging you to raise awareness about ataxia. Listen, it doesn't have to be that difficult. I'm not asking you to make videos. It can be as simple or as complicated as it needs to be. It could be something up like wearing your shirt that says, I am the strength behind ataxia out on your errands one day. Raising awareness is about creating a consciousness. And we need people to be conscious of the word ataxia, right? Because they don't know what that is. So mark your calendar. I look forward to hosting this Facebook you know, live chat. And even if you weren't able to do something to raise awareness, I still want you to jump on the chat. You're going to hear from other people and you might become inspired or get an idea of something you'd like to try next time. And next time doesn't have to be next September 25th. It can be any time, right? You can raise a tax year awareness anytime. So I would challenge you to think about that. Now let me get back to my three posts a week. I'm going to make three posts a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings. And they'll be about the little things and not so little things that no one ever talks about when you are living with ataxia. And they'll be from a caregiver perspective, but also from an ataxian perspective. I've been a caregiver for the past 11 years to my husband, John, who has sporadic unknown ataxia. And so... The things I'll share will be about my experience as a caregiver and other caregivers that I've talked to, their experiences, as well as things I've learned from John and other Intaxians that I've talked to, either in our support group or when I go to the annual um, conferences and talk to people with ataxia. So I have to put a disclaimer out there, though. We are not all the same. We're all very different, and all the ataxia diagnoses are very different. However, we all have similar experiences, and we can relate to one another. And so I think you'll find that even though everything is not totally applicable to you because it's not a one-size-fits-all, that you will be able to relate to what I'm saying and what I'm sharing. And I want to hear from you. So make a short comment on the posts. Let me know, are you learning something new? Are, you know, are these relatable to you? And is this helpful information? So let me know, I would love to hear from you. So that's it really. So, you know, we're gearing up for Labor Day weekend. It's a long weekend this weekend. So, you know what, enjoy this long weekend, the last one of the summer. Oh, I can't believe it, I hate that summer's over. But, you know, enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you on Monday with the first post. And, um, oh yeah, before I forget, like us, like us. All right, you guys, I'll see you on Monday. Have a great weekend.